I honestly reflecting on the just the collector's edition as a whole, I think Chevrolet, and that's why I put the watch in the corner of the thumbnail because I honestly feel like Chevrolet they don't even like understand the demographic of like Camaro owners. I mean, does that make sense to you or am I in the minority here? Because um uh I, I just I just I feel like I've never seen a Camaro owner like wear a watch, sport a watch, uh talk about watches or anything of the sort. Um yeah. Yeah. Jim Rage LT1, low effort release. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The phone it in from all I get. Yeah. Uh that's a really good point. The the thing is, is like I heard through the rumor mill, but a couple years ago, I think it was right around the when they did the 2019, they had the bow tie and then uh pretty much the internet pissed her pants about, you know, oh it was so ugly, oh so so they did a refresh, like a mid-year refresh. So you got like six point, you know, one, six point two, six point three, you know, whatever. But I heard that they broke up the engineering team for the Camaro. And like I said, um, if that truly did happen, they weren't going to do anything. They can't really do anything because they can't go back to the drawing board, do any R and D, reinvent the wheel on anything, and you know we're going to be screwed with st sticker packages until the end, which if that's true, I'm kind of surprised that sticker packages have made it or gotten us this far. So, but if that is true, it does explain a lot as to why our sales numbers have sucked and they, uh, don't really care. And they're, and they're, you know, willing to, uh, you know, throw this whole thing in, in the trash. Jeff noob says, I am I'm so contempt content with my 2018 it's scary no dude uh that's a good thing that's a very good thing uh because i get fickle-headed i get scatterbrain and my wants go well beyond my budget so being content and uh sitting back and then just enjoying the show of everybody else fighting and shit over over trying to get cars overpaying bidding wars doing that you know that's a very very good thing uh I, i'm very very content with my zia one as well i just kind of want a 10 speed one to go with it you know yeah jim rage says they're trying to give it the impression on exclusive yeah without doing anything new to the car exactly exactly that's that's why I think that they're playing these constraint games uh, with the wing, the carbon fiber. Oh, carbon fibers, you know, it's so hard to get now, even though it's I can get that freaking wing. It's probably a piece of crap. Probably doesn't fit well and the weave probably sucks. The epoxy probably sucks, but I can get that wing for like 700 bucks to my door. I could ha probably have it here within five days. They're liars. They are lying to our faces. And everyone's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, thanks for sharing that. They have Corvette on uh, that new green. I haven't really followed C8 that much, but I do get uh, the GM authority. And the paint colors have got it on constraint. Paint colors. I mean, I'm like, there's no way that you're, you're going to tell me three colors are going to put a car into constraint. Like... They're trying to play keep away. They're trying to make it exclusive and they're trying to make you feel like it's something special. That's kind of why I said, like, when have you ever seen Camaro being sold with a watch? I mean, not, not, I'm not saying that not everybody, you know, not every Camaro owner doesn't wear a watch. I'm just saying everybody that I've ever met, uh, that's not the norm. So it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. You need to get off your high horse and, and understand your demographic and understand what people actually want. So I'm okay with the, the Camaro 6 going off into the sunset. I'm just saying they have all the parts available right in front of our face again. 
uh, to make another V8 gas car. You know, Cadillac already got the Alpha 2 chassis. I'm very, very good with the Tremec TR6060 with for another one, two, maybe three generations. That transmission's so good. Um, and the more and more they make, the cheaper and cheaper it's going to get. So I'm very good with that. The 10 speed, I'm telling you, 10 speed's ridiculous. Uh, Mike Burley took me for a ride in his in his ZL1. There will be a video up Wednesday. I think I, I think I should have it done by Wednesday. But yeah, first uh, you know the the constraints was um, these microchips, semiconductors. Then it's you know you, you guys know it's been this, it's been that, it's been the blah blah blah. Every week it's something new, and then they just got to a point where they were just shutting down the plant for like half a month, whatever, just saying. Don't worry about it. We're just shutting down. See you when we reopen.